In this lesson, I want to show you how phasing your project. You can show your construction process in your project very easily. First, uh, in your project, in your uh, software, for example, Revit or SketchUp or any software that you use or 3D Max, Maya, Cinema 4D, your project, you have to categorize your project in two, in several objects. For example, here, as you can see, uh, the phasing play with these eyes for turning off or on the object. Turn all object down by clicking and dragging in a sync graph. And phasing is like this. Phasing automatically turns this first, uh, first floor, for example. I categorize my project do it in your software and then I turn on the columns then folder one the columns the folder number two and the person and, and <clears throat> other object that I will uh, add in my project later so do it in your software then import in the two in motion to phasing that I give a number to better understand which one is which one So this is a simple project that I give you to better understand. Going in the media, in the phasing, you can begin your phasing. Create a phasing and the timeline will be appear here. This is new phasing system in Twimotion. The old system is here in called Cinestates. If you use the previous version of Twimotion, you can uh, use the phasing system here. The new phasing system is like the timeline that you can use it uh, depend months year or day the timing is not important the timing here nothing for important don't confuse yourself in a more I usually turn the markers off because I just want to uh, <clears throat> categorize and phasing my project and the timing depend on your video this phasing not working and not use, uh, useful uh, independently, but this phasing have to add the video to use that. So the timing of the phase depend on the timing of the video. So I turn off the marker to uh, working easily on the phasing. <clears throat> this is my phase number one. Click on it to select on it. And you have to uh, specify what happened in this phasing. In this phasing, I want to turn all of this phasing off, this object off. And you can click and drag to uh, expand or collapse it or increase or decrease the time of the, this phase. This is enough for me. You can name your track. For example, in this phase, I want to show nothing click that do uh, exactly like i uh, i'm doing here if you're doing anything you will confuse it's a confusing system i think but it's very easy so exactly do uh, what i do click this phase and then create another phase phase number two select it it is indicating not important. Just select it in this phase. What, what, what will be happen here? I want to turn the plane or slap on. Okay, in this phase, I have nothing in the phase two appear. This is phasing, just very simple. Click this phasing. In three dots, you can delete, paste, copy, or rename. You can rename it. If you click anywhere, the phasing gone. This is not bug. You have to select what phase you are. Click this phase and then create another phase, phase number three. You don't need to bring the indicator on it. Just click that. In this phase, I want to turn uh, first. I want to categorize these tracks. These tracks, I rename it, for example, to plane. And I want to create a new track. Don't do like that. Just click in this phase and click and drag it down. And the track number two will be created. In this phase, 
rename it to the, for example, columns. Columns, sorry. <clears throat> columns, and in this track, I want to uh, phasing the columns. Please uh, categorize these trackers to uh, working better and cleaner. Okay, click this phase, and this in this phase, I want to turn these columns on. And here our phasing is working correctly. Select the last phase, then create the phasing. In this phase, I want to uh, appear the floor number one. Click and drag up. This is our plane or floor. You can mm, rename it to the floor. Sorry. Floor. In this phase, I want to turn the floor number one. Click last phase, create another one, drag it down. In this phase, I want to turn on the column for another floor. Select that phase, create a new phase, drag it up and turn the floor, another floor. This is very simplest and you can uh, do uh, this in your project. As you can see, this is phasing. You can do it for more complex projects like this. Okay, now I want to add this person. I, when you click any phasing, it show you uh, the content of that phasing. Okay. When you select, uh, click anywhere in the software, the phasing gone and show you all your project. Okay, I want to bring this uh, character, for example, after phasing two. Uh, in this uh, mode, you can add your, when you, here you can clean this three dot and new track. I bring a new track. In this new track, when you click that, you can create new phase. This is new phase. As at this phase, what happened? In this phase, when you click this phase, uh, all of um, just number one and two will be appear. When you click a new phase, all of your project appear and your phasing will be gone and confused, for example, as you can see in click and drag it phasing here. Because in this phasing, all of the objects are turned on. So, in this phasing, I want to, uh, for example, from here to above, this character will be appear. Click that. Do it like this. Click that phasing. Turn anything, everything off except that object, except scene graph. In this phase, I just turn the, this character on. And you click this indicator and my phasing is correct. This appear, you can click and drag it anywhere that you want. Going back to my phasing. And appear after phase two. And disappear after here, phase three. Because you have to expand that to, uh, for example, phase number five of any phase that you want. As you can see, this is indicator and read anything above that. May you ask uh, why uh, this phasing is uh, limited here and uh, also we can see that because in the, in the previous method that I um, use, I select that and then after that I select it. Because of that, it is very simple to when you want to uh, bring a new object, you have to do like that, okay? Because I select it and then create it, it don't need to be expanded here. And it is very simple. If you do like that, you want to expand it, it's very confusing. So do this uh, when you uh, bring a new object. When you this is not bug. When you click in the phase three, it shows you as you um, set in a scene manager or scene graph. In, a, in this phase, all everything is turned off and just this character is turned on. And after phase five, the character disappear. 
I want to bring a vehicle, for example, a loader on this scene. To do that, simply you can bring a loader here. And going back to the phasing, I want to this loader, for example, here. And it is gone because it's not in our phasing schedule. Click this track create or can you can create a new phase uh, when you cre click the new phase it create automatically track and phase on it i want to this loader for example being here to the last of the on my project so what you can what you have to do as i said before click it click it in this phase turn everything everything off except that track loader and as you can see, when you click your indicator, the loader is appear here with the character. Loader and character appear here in the phase two, phase two, and another phase or continue and character will be disappear here and the character will be appear to the last of the protest. This is our phasing. You can, ex you can uh, exercise yourself and do it more complex project this is done this is our phasing you can create another phasing for somewhere other in your project and we have to add this phasing to our video this phasing do not work separately going back to the media in a video we have to create a video that i explained in the previous session in the detail create a new video and for example uh, we turn uh, here, for example, in turn, some turn and click another frame. And this is our animation. <clears throat> As you can see in here, you can, when you play that, when you play that, our phasing is gone because we have to uh, set it, the phasing to this video. I was just uh, saying the timing on the video when you want to this video happen faster you have to uh, turn down this second here I tell I told you okay in the sitting there are no phasing here the sitting is here you have to go back to the main video in a main video in a more as I said before here is the phasing you can uh, click in your phasing phasing number five okay here I'm our phasing number five you can click on this three dot and rename it phasing number one for example for that going back to the media in a video that I created in a more in the sitting you can set the phasing number one to that going back to the video click on it and as you can see our phasing added to this video you can play it and the phasing will be happen very simple and easy if you want your phasing uh, happen fast you have to for example change this to the five second so i told before the timing of the phasing depend to your timing of your uh, video this is phasing going back to the phasing and click on it this is our timeline of phasing very easy Hello my friends, to continue these tutorials on YouTube, subscribe us, like us, and hit the bell icon. And now, you will be alerted about all of the amazing videos that we release.